It's an event I'll never forget. It's an individual I'll never forget. I'm still working with him today, but this is many, many years ago when we first met and I truly began to understand this individual, this, this person that I was working with, this leader that I was working with, had had 10 years, 10 years in doing what they do. And it was time they felt like, you know what, I need to do something different. I just need to leave this. I need to go on. Even though they had spent nearly a decade preparing for that career and then another decade actually in it, because of the lack of what they felt was success, the lack of, the, of where they thought they should be, he thought, you know what, I just need to cash it in. I need to be done, move on. I already picked out another school I'm gonna to go to. I already have another profession I want to, want to engage in. This is what I'm gonna do. But he said to me, if you can't help me get through this, if you can't help me uh, become successful in this endeavor, I'm done. I'm gonna move on. That was how the engagement started. That's how our relationship started. And again, this is many, many years ago now. The understanding that there was a place that, that they were, okay? And a place that they wanted to be, and there was a gap between them. And really understanding what it was that made the difference. Now, this person today, very successful, happy, still engaged, still working hard. In fact, I'm working with his team this afternoon. For this particular individual, making a couple of simple shifts make all the difference in the world. I also remember this one, and two more stories actually. A vision quest is a process that I take people through two very, very intense days that we really drill down to some very essential things. And it is those essential things that make all the difference. Now, this was two people who had been working together for some time that wanted to create a partnership. Incidentally, the other story, the exact same thing, two very different industries, but two people who had been working together for some time that were ready to create a partnership. We went on this process. Now, I didn't go together. These are two separate events. The first one, we went and got to the place where we truly understood from a very deep sense, yeah, this isn't probably gonna work. They split up, they've gone their own ways, they each do their own thing. This other set didn't get right to that place, but they got right up next to it. Within a week, that had dissolved, they split up, they went their own ways. It's so much better to get there before you get in, before you get in too deep, before it becomes consuming. That's what this process was for these gentlemen. Now, does it always happen? No, I've had successful ones happen. I've had more that have been unsuccessful. Why? Because you get to the depth, and when you get there, it has to be sustained. That is the process of understanding values. Values are so critically important. Now, values are not principles. Often we use values and principles as interchangeable words with interchangeable meanings. I like the meaning that, that Stephen R. Covey gave to principles, which are natural laws. In other words, if I were to tell you right now, I want you to drop down, give me 50 push-ups, the likelihood of you being able to do that is only enhanced if you have trained to that event, to train to that culmination, right? So the likelihood of you being able to perform or outweigh natural law is not going to happen. You're not going to overcome natural law. Natural law is what principles are all about. We are principled in what we cannot do anything about. We can't do anything about gravity. Gravity is a natural law. I stepped on the scale this morning. I have a very vivid understanding of what gravity is. We cannot do anything about natural law. Values shift. Values are things that we possess. Values are things that we can change. Values are things that we hold to. But we want to be very careful with values because values can not only propel you to what you really want, they can also be the very things that you will fight for in your limitations. If you don't understand values, 
your professional experience is going to be hampered. If you don't understand values, your professional experience is not going to be a reflection of every other experience. You're not going to have the alignment that's going to bring you the peace internally. Truly work to understand your values. Work to understand what they are. Work to understand how you use them, how they use you, and what it is that you can do to alter them where necessary. Values are critical. The values that we have and hold are the very things that allow us to have and create exceptional experiences. The values that you have and hold and sustain are the very things that allow you to experience life. I'll see you on the next Primacy Podcast.